All right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, today we're going to send an email over radio, VHF radio, uh, using AX.25 networking. Um, we'll get some difficulty points here, some bonus points. We're actually going to do this over the horizon using uh, an existing AX.25 radio network here in California. Let's do it this time on KM6 LYW Radio. Yeah, welcome back. That's the guitar music. I'm still getting away with a lot of Rush songs. That one's obvious. You know, if you ever listen to the, the Rush song YYZ, listen to the beginning of it. This is a radio thing, guys. Listen to the beginning of YYZ. The rhythm is actually in Morse code to the Toronto airport code YYZ. Check that one out. All right, let's do some radio networking. Let's send email using amateur radio uh, through an AX.25 network. All right, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need an amateur radio. Check. We got an ICOM 705. This could be any amateur or ham radio. And we've also got a Raspberry Pi running the DigiPi software, um, which actually goes to patrons of the channel. It implements all the data modes. We talk about it on this channel, uh, this one being no exception. We've got these two connected with a USB cable, um, but you can connect it to any radio if you uh, have a radio interface board. So digipi.org to set all of this stuff up. Uh, once you get DigiPi running, everything runs in a web browser. So this will work on any device. Uh, I've got a PC here, but it could be your phone or your tablet. So everything runs in the, the web browser. Right now, it's doing APRS packet radio stuff right now. You can see it on the screen. The packet's flowing through. Um, what I'm going to do on DigiPi, however, is enable AX.25 networking. Um, you see it just turned green here. Uh, DigiPi went into AX.25 networking mode, and it's now a node, a NetROM node, on a, uh, a network here in California. At least it will be once we change it to the, uh, the NetROM frequency here in Northern California. Now, since we're going to be sending email over AX.25 networking, um, I'm going to click on Pat here, and this will turn green next to Pat Winlink email client, and that's going to start like a web service on the DigiPi. And we're going to go down here and click on Pat Email. And you should see some standard like inbox, outbox, sent, received, uh, standard email stuff. Um, so let's, um, let's just send an email right now. We're just going to do, this is the easy way. We're just going to do a real close. This is a chip shot, maybe a, a nine iron uh, out to a radio. That's just a few miles from here. Actually, Ken runs this. So I'm going to do action, connect, and I'm going to do show RMS list. And I'm going to switch this to packet. And we'll notice the transport's already set to AX.25, and then uh, I can do update cache. This will download a new list of WinLink servers from the internet. Now keep in mind, the rest of this stuff is all going to be over RF. Okay, we've got the list of stations here. Uh, we've got NB6S-8. He's really close. He's on 145730. We're going to click on that. You'll notice our rig just changed over to 145730. And I am going to uh, say connect, and this will actually just go check email. It will send and receive any email that we might want. Uh, so the browser zoom is a little weird here. You can see the, the status here um, where it's connecting. And it says uh, dual mode gateway connect um, via direct or via MTVNOD. That's an AX.25 mode node, but we're connecting directly. Um, so it looks like we connected, everything worked, but we didn't have an email, so we didn't download anything. Um, so let's, let's compose something. I'm going to do connect, compose. Um, actually, you know what I can do instead of giving out a bunch of email addresses? I'm going to do, um, now let's do compose. And I've, I set up a fake email address here. Let me see if I can find it. This, this service called temp email. So here's uh, something free source codes. I'm going to copy this email address and you're going to see me send an email here. All right, let's get back to Pat. I'm going to send it to this address. I'm going to say, hey, this is email via ham radio. That's their subject. And this is the body. I'll spell it right for you. The body of the email. And KM6LYW. All right, and I'm going to do post. Now I'm going to do, now that it's posted to my outbox, I can read it here. Hey, there's my email. It's just waiting. It's not sent yet. So let's do action, connect, and then we're going to connect to NB6S-8 again. All right, that's what it says up here. We're on 145730. Everything's cool. We're in FM digital mode on the radio. You can see it FMD there. Now we're going to do connect. Now it's going to send this thing out of my outbox. 
and send it to the WinLink email backend. And it's doing that right now. I don't know why the fonts are all overlapping. Right now it says sending checksum. Um, I don't know if you guys can read that. And then it says transmitting, hey, this is email via ham radio, uh, offset zero. I don't, I don't know why we need to know the offset. All right, so it is sending. The radio was going wild, and now it says disconnected, and that should have sent it. So now if I go over to my free cheesy email service and I do a reload, we should see the new email, and there it is. And it says, hey, this is email via ham radio, and this is the body of the email. So it did. We sent email from uh, our amateur radio using Dib DigiPi and a ham radio, but it was just a chip shot. It was just to a uh, Kins uh, WinLink node that is just a, a few miles from here. So let's see if we can do something a little more interesting. Um, I know, because that, that's too easy. So let's uh, let's do another, let's compose another email. Um, we'll send it to the same guy here. And let's get a copy of that email address again. Do a copy. Send it to that same fake email address and say, this is a long shot. Hey, <laughs> see if I can do this. Hey, this went 200 miles. See, we're going to send this uh, through an AX.25 network through a series of intermediate nodes. In fact, we're going to go like from the Sacramento area all the way down to Bakersfield, if you're familiar with uh, uh, California geography. So I'm going to go ahead and post that to my outbox so we can see it's there. It's posted. It's waiting. So this time when I do go to connect, I'm not just going to connect to NB6S-8, but I'm going to connect to another guy down in Bakersfield. His call is KT2KT-10, but this time I'm going to put BIA. Um, K-B-E-R-R, -R, that's Mount Berryessa, that's on the other side of the Sacramento Valley, and then uh, K-B-U-L-N, B -U -L -N. I'm not sure where that is, it's south of here, and then I'm going to go to B-R-K-N-R-G, that's Mount Breckenridge, so I'm going to actually, when I connect to the WinLink server this time, it's called KT2KT-10, thanks for hosting that by the way, and instead of trying to connect to that directly, which is over the horizon, which we all know is impossible, on VHF on this frequency. Instead of doing that, we're gonna go through a series of intermediate nodes, K Bear, K Bull, and K Breckenridge. And the packet, packets are actually gonna route back to me uh, using the reverse of that path. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's press connect and see what happens. Hoping for the best. All right, we'll see the start transmitting. You guys can probably hear that. And it looks like I got repeated. So I sent a packet and it was repeated. And this says connecting to KT2KT-10 via K Bear, and now it says connected to KT2KT-10 via K Bear, K B U L and K Breckenridge. Now it's hard to know exactly where we're at in the AX.25 network stack, so what we can do is go over here to DigiPy and click on AX Call, and there's something called LinPack, which will kind of let you do some keyboard to keyboard stuff directly over AX.25, but it'll let you monitor what's happening on the AX.25 network. So I'm going to say run LinPack, and then I am going to press F10 to see what's going on on the network here, and there's some other traffic on going on, but that's okay. And we can see my packets going out. Uh, this packet got sent, um, but it didn't get repeated. Otherwise, I would see it come back with a little asterisk on it. So we're still waiting here. That's hopefully Pat's still going. Um, this says connected to RMS. So it sounds like we actually got some packets there and back already. Um, so it's not going to time out on me and I have to start this video over. And it's going to take a while. Uh, AX.25 is a connected protocol. So these are all connected digipeters. It's, it's a little bit like APRS. APRS is kind of like UDP, send and pray. Uh, AX.25 is more like TCP, uh, where you send a packet, you get an acknowledgement back. Um, it's a connected mode, um, and you can send packets back and forth. Um, so sometimes you'll see, like, you don't have to know what all this stuff means, but like RR is ready to receive. Um, this packet was rejected, I'm guessing, because it was already sent. And we're actually seeing some traffic related to what Pat is doing. Um, you can see it says connected to RMS. This is two meter wind link gateway in Bakersfield, California. You know, that's 400 kilometers from here. And it's connected to a wind link RMS server, kind of like via Telnet on the back end. So all of this stuff here locally is happening uh, over RF on the radio, uh, going through the internet, uh, going through the AX.25 nodes. And then uh, at, the, at the end point there in Bakersfield, it is, uh, that's actually connected to the internet and it's going to send the email from there. 
Um, so it's kind of like having an AX.25 ISP that does email only that operates at the speed of the smell. So <laughs> hopefully this will start sending. Uh, let's look in our outbox here. Here's our message there. It's pretty slow. Let's see what's going on in WinLink. So we're seeing some resends here. Um, some stuff didn't make it, or maybe my acknowledgement didn't make it. It's hard to say. So while we're waiting for, it looks like we're getting some errors in the transmission, but it'll retransmit. It just means it's going to take a little longer. Um, there's some stuff you can look at here. Uh, winlink.org is going to show you the map of all of the stations. You click on RMS map and zoom in on your region and you're looking for packet stations okay and the packet station click on packet here packet station we're looking for is in bakersfield i hope that isn't too loud it's really loud in here um it'll take a minute to load but this is where you find like the kt2 kt station he'll pop up here in bakersfield when this loads now in northern california al has put together yeah they're populating um Alice put together a map of the nodes on the, in NetROM here. Uh, let's see, we're sending checks on Pat. I'm doing a lot of things at the same time. <laughs> Al, thank you for putting this together. This is the 145050 uh, network here in Northern California, and he put together this huge map that shows the nodes and all of their connectivity. So we started over here in Placerville, and then we shooted, shot over to uh, Mount Berryessa, and then we're going to KBULN. I don't know where that is exactly. And then we're going all the way down to Mount Breckenridge, which is way down here. In fact, they, we have an interactive map. Mount Breckenridge down here. And then we're finally making it to Bakersfield to our Winlink node. And then, of course, all the packets are routing back um, all on that frequency. So pretty cool. In fact, we can make it to Los Angeles on a good day. And I've actually made it to uh, Oregon here uh, and sent email via Oregon here in California. So let's take a look at Pat and see how we're doing. Um, it still says sending checksum. Um, here comes, we can see the email actually being sent in clear text. Remember, none of this is secret. This is ham radio. Um, this isn't encrypted. This is actually compressed. So that's the, uh, the body of the message. And this is just the raw data being sent back and forth. And now we can see Pat says, now transmitting. This is email from RF to the internet. Um, so that those packets are going through very slowly. Again, at the speed of smell. We are getting some drops. Um, you know, going through three digipeters, you know, is a lot to ask, right? Going through one pretty much works all the time. But, you know, if you're going through three, packets are probably going to get dropped here and there. Um, and there's going to be a lot of repeats. Um, and it's going to take a while. Um, so I don't know how practical this is <laughs> in the big picture to try and send email via Bakersfield, which is hundreds of miles here, but the cool factor is there. The, the difficulty points um, are there for this one. So come on, Pat, you can do it. Let's go back to uh, Linpack and see where we're at. So this is me being, this is me transmitting on this line, and then I see the same line again, only there's an asterisk next to the first digipeter in the in the chain here in the routing table. So K Bear repeated me, and then hopefully K B U L N uh, sent that again and then that made it to k breckenridge which made it to bakersfield um, but i'm not seeing anything come back so something's kind of getting lost along the way you can see we're actually resending a lot of this content that wasn't acknowledged by the uh, the target there in bakersfield <laughs> i paused you guys just for a second there so we saw that the packets are retransmitted a few times um looking at that this is the compressed version of the email that got sent and we got the acknowledgments and most importantly when we go back to pat uh, we saw it transmitting, and then we saw it disconnected here. We didn't see any errors. So the email was, in fact, sent. We did it. Uh, BHF email, hundreds of miles to the south using nothing but uh, RF here. So let's go to our fake email account. Uh, where is this guy? And I'm going to click reload here, and we will see... Here's the email. This is email from RF to Internet, and hey, this is the body. We did it. We sent email from RF... <laughs> all the way through all those intermediate nodes and it was slow um you're not going to do this all day every day guys so totally cool um so i think we covered how to send email just to a local node and then actually use ax.25 networking to send it through a series of intermediate nodes so hey if you guys want to do this at home um uh, patrons of the channel get access to the digipi sd card image at digipi.org so everything you just saw here you can do with digipi um you go to digipi.org you can download the software again it goes to patrons of the channel implements every data mode there is um, you can see some example builds here you can use pi zero someone i really like node services you can be a bulletin board 
hook it up to any radio, even a Baofeng. There's lots of different radio adapters. These are the services that includes WSJTX, Slow Scan, TV, FL Digi, Data, JSA Call, and it is all accessible via a web browser. You notice we did all of this on a web browser, and that could be on your phone, or you could be doing FT8 in your easy chair in the other room, all over Wi-Fi, all using this Raspberry Pi, or Parks on the Air, Summit's on the Air. It's pretty cool using JS8 Call, using just the keyboard on your phone. Um, really cool. DigiPy implements all the modes here. It goes to patrons of the channel. Um, I can't possibly read all of these names. It's overwhelming. So patreon.com slash km6lyw. Um, we're in the thousands now, guys. So that means there are thousands of digital or data users out there worldwide. So there's no excuse <clears throat> not to get on the radio and start talking to these guys digitally. That could be keyboard to keyboard, could be using JS8 call, um, we could be doing email, all the APRS modes are there. Um, we've actually got an APRS web chat interface on DigiPi where you can just do keyboard to keyboard with other radios worldwide um, over the APRS packet radio network. So digi or uh, patreon.com slash km6lyw gets access to the DigiPi SD card image and you can do email over AX.25. Hey, my name is Craig, amateur radio call sign KM6LYW. I'm in California and I am clear.